welcome to Berkshire Farm. Well, today was the day that Tropical Nicholas hit the coast, and today was also the day that we were going to pack things up and spend the night in the trailer. Last weekend we went to the trailer and got everything ready uh, so that the dogs could come, and we had the inside all ready and brought things that we would think we would need to be able to spend the night, because tomorrow was supposed to be the pouring of the pad, which we were so excited about. But unfortunately, the rains came and we thought for sure that it wasn't going to happen. The roads were flooded. It was pretty bad this morning. But as the morning went on, things started to clear up and our contractor went out to the farm and he thinks it's going to be perfectly fine for them to pour the pad tomorrow. Well. Frank went ahead and he went out just a little while ago to spend the night because they're going to be there at 6 in the morning and he wanted to make sure that he was there for when they started the pour and everything. But we didn't want to take the dogs out there because it's very wet and mucky and we didn't want their paws getting wet and then they end up getting sick and then we end up dealing with three sick dogs. So I'm spending the night here at the rental. I'm going to take care of the puppies in the morning and then I'm going to head out to meet up with him to see how the pour is going. I told him that I packed him a nice little lunch and or dinner and I told him I would bring him breakfast. One of the things that we have started doing is making a um, bagel breakfast sandwich to eat on the way to the farm. We used to, you know, get up in the morning, hurry up, gather everything, get out the door as we're driving down the road. We're like, man, I'm hungry and Sure enough, almost every time we would end up driving through the McDonald drive through to get an English muffin and it just kind of got really old, plus it's not real healthy and we're trying to stay away from the fast foods and the processed foods. So I started doing bagel egg McMuffins and I told Frank I would bring him one tomorrow. So I normally make it fresh that morning because, you know, it would take us 20 minutes to go through the drive through get everything and get on the road. And that's about what it takes for me to do it. So I was, so I was like, well, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to make them tonight, put them in the refrigerator. There's a little microwave in the trailer. Well, heat them up in the microwave and then we'll have some nice breakfast sandwiches in the morning. So what I thought I would do is make you our bagel egg McMuffins. So the first thing I do is I start with spraying a little bit of oil in the pan. And that way it's just a small little coating. I'm not using too much. That's an olive oil spray. Um, you could use butter or you can use anything else that you would like, but that at least cuts down on the calories because you're just spraying just enough of what you need. Then we take our egg. cutting them the rest of the way. So that it's in two halves. I'll go ahead and do the other one real quick. Cut them right up into two halves. And the pan feels like it's getting warm enough. What I'm going to do is just pour the nice thin layer. I do one egg per sandwich. Just make it nice and even and flat so it's a nice thin layer. And for Frank, I put a little cheese. 
He likes to have a little cheese on his, so I just kind of tear it up. Try and keep it as even on the bottom of the pan as possible with the egg. And I just tear it up and let the cheese start to melt and let the bottom start to get hard. While that's getting hard, I take a little bit of mayo and I spread mayo on the top and the bottom. Now I'm not going to toast these. You can toast them, which would probably make them even better. But it's not going to really do us any good to toast them because they're going to sit in the refrigerator all night long. And then, yeah, we'll nuke them when we get to the trailer. So I'll put a little mayo on. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. And I know some people probably think, mayo? Seriously? You ought to try it. I eat a lot of things with mayo. I love mayo. be able to finish that quite yet because we have to start folding the egg. So what I do is I just fold the edges in a little bit. And that way it'll be a round circle to fit on top of the bagel. I'm going to move it off the heat here because if I don't it's going to really start overcooking. But it is gas so if you have a gas stove and you do this be careful because you can easily catch something on fire doing this. Make sure your kids are not around. We're empty nesters, so we don't have to worry about the kids. I'm going to take my other spatula here. Flip it. And let the center cook on the other side. While that's going, I'm going to finish putting the mayo On the bagel. There we go. And now, it's been long enough. You just need to leave it on there for, you know, about 10 seconds, just enough to get the very center cooked. I take the bottom of the bagel and I flip it over just like that. Careful that flame, like I said before. And I put it in there. Now, we're going to do the other egg. Rack it in the little cup. Mix it up really, really good. There still should be enough oil in the pan that it won't stick, but we'll see. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to pour it in the pan, make sure that it's nice and even on the bottom. Get every last little bit of that egg. Swirl it around so it's nice and even. And this one's mine, so it's not going to have cheese on it. Then what I'm going to do, just add a small bit of salt. usually goes a little bit faster than the first one because the pan's already pretty hot and then you just fold it over I'm gonna get away from that plate you just kind of fold it over so that it makes a little circle I'm going to take my little spatula here, slide it on it like that, and flip it, and put it back on the flame. Let that center cook down just a couple of seconds. Doesn't have to be long because it won't take long. 
Got all these little seeds <laughs> everywhere. All right, that should be long enough. I take it, flip it over, and there she is. Now an egg McMuffin always has sausage. And sometimes I will put sausages on it. What I do is I just buy the sausage, make them into little patties, and I put two little patties in the, in the freezer and I freeze them. And then the night before we leave to go to the farm, I take them out so that they'll thaw out in the refrigerator and then I assemble it and then uh, that way I don't have to cook it. It's already pre-cooked. We just need to warm it up a little bit. But tomorrow, we're going to do ham. We do like to have ham on it. And I just kind of warm it on one side just to get a little bit of color, flip it over, warm it on the other side to get a little color. The other thing you can use is also bacon. Bacon's a good thing to put on there. You can just use all kinds of different things. Um, one time, I would like to try just putting some sprouts on it. Oh, I think the microgreen sprouts would be really good on there, making it a little bit fresher. It's kind of high carb with those bagels, but they're really good. And when we go to the farm, we usually work off all those carbs. So I'm just going to flip it here. Yeah, not quite there yet. Give it a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, actually about one minute. Because it didn't quite get the color that I normally like to see. And once again, I didn't use any more oil. That little spray that I did is just enough. Before I forget, because I have forgotten, a little bit of salt. Just a little. Alright. That looks pretty good for me. I'm going to put this one on mine. I just lay it on top. Then we take the other piece, place it in the pan, and kind of add the extra piece. Well, that one's cooking. It's simple, just put the lid on. Now I'm kind of picky about this. I like my sandwiches cut in half. So I will cut it in half. me it just is that little special touch put the lid on it and my sandwich is done I'm going to finish up this ham here for Frank oh this one looks better I'll show you So you can see how it turned a little bit brown on there. I just kind of, you know, deli ham, we get, the, we get the deli ham from the deli department and it sometimes is a little bit watery. So this will just cook that water out and then just giving that little brown adds just one little extra flavor to it. And that should be enough. Like I said, it doesn't take long. Let me just place it on there. There we go. Put that one there. Put that one there. And then a little extra piece right in the middle. Put the lid on and cut it in half. And there she is. The 
This is the bagel, the McBagel egg and ham sandwich for breakfast tomorrow. All right, and then I always have to remember, I always do the same thing. I put me on the bottom, I put Frank on the top. I'll put it in the refrigerator and I'll be ready to go tomorrow morning to the farm. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me our breakfast that we're going to have tomorrow. I'm very excited and I know that we will be definitely videoing the pouring of the pad if it happens tomorrow. So until then, you have a really blessed day.